Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 53, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords. We went back to the ship with the intent of crafting a couple of things because we couldn't find the appropriate bench, and uh, ended up uh, in a confrontation with Vizas. Vizas? Vizas? And we've been trying to do some crew chats and checkups, and that took a lot longer than I expected. So, now that we've leveled up, let's see if Korea has anything new for us, and then we'll check in with the rest of the crew. Yes. Have you come with questions? Um... I want you to teach me more about the Force. Very well. What is it that drives you? Um... Before, when you taught me to listen, I wish to continue that lesson. Very well. Sit with me. All right, here we go. You have brushed the surface thoughts of another. It is a start. Calm yourself. This time, silence your own thoughts. <laughs> yeah, coffee would come Imagine in handy too. Imagine the waters of the room of a thousand fountains. Each stream. A thousand coffee fountains? I could go with a thousand coffee fountains. Imagine the ice of Tinos, cold and smooth as it gathers upon the plateau. I'd rather now, not think of Telos again. Out. Feel the ship around you. Strip away the metal and see the souls and minds of those that fill its corridors with more thoughts mm. and dreams and worries than can fill the space of this ship. As my feet walk from the ashes of Qatar, I shall, I shall not, not fear. Fear, fear is the mind fear. killer. The little death. Oh, wait, wrong franchise again. Then, I... From the first movement, no! close the second. Strike. Repeat. Circle one's opponent. Repeat. Faster. Quicker. If father had been faster. If oh. only father had been faster. See, this is why I wanted to try to faster, trigger this. I would no longer be the last of my sisters. But does Atrus love him? Jedi do not love. Does Atrus hate him? Jedi do not hate. This journey is harder than any she has sent me on. Oh, Switch interesting. Switch the face of the plus one, minus one card. The totals are nine, ten. Switch the face of the plus two, minus two card. The total is eight, eleven. Switch. Your command hmm. echoes still, General, and I obey, as I did at Malakor. Oh, you're uh, aware of that one. The ashes of Switch the face of the plus one, I minus one card. The totals are yeah. Eight, I was expecting this to open up conversation options with everybody else. I knew this was coming at some point in the near future. I was hoping to save that for next week, but, uh, okay. Wait, the sound of the background, what is it? Not now. Focus on my voice. Wait, what do you mean, not now? Now do you hear me? Truly hear me? Um... Well, that's my only option, so I hear you. This is incredible. You have taken the first steps on a much longer road, Exile. What about T3? The droid cannot be read in such a way. As for the alien who served with you in the war, its thoughts are more difficult, requiring many translations in meaning. Often it is better to read their impulses and images than their hmm. spoken thoughts. That is why he is deaf to you. I have found his impulses are cold, like a dead weight. His thoughts are... Wait a second... Um, but I did hear something Indeed. from him. It is strange that I did not. Uh, maybe it's because I know him better? Perhaps. I would not put much weight on such things. Okay. And there was also something wrong with Atten's thoughts. Of course there was. It is because Atten was not playing Pazak, yet he counts cards in his head. At times, he will list off engine sequences, memorize the hyperspace routes on the other side of the galaxy, count the ticking in the power couplings, even though they are fixed. At other times, he will imagine certain base lusts, certain hmm. indignities. It may be Atten is far... Is that for games revisited after dark? Or perhaps he is simply a fool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I had other questions. And I will answer. Let's see what else I can get. Um. Hmm. What do you know of Viz's master? He, if he can truly be called a man any longer, is one of the dark lords oh. that pursues you. 
I do not think he knows what you are. Not yet. He spared the Miraluka, and that may have been the last shred of feeling that exists within him. Keep his slave close to you. I suspect there was a reason he spared her, and perhaps a reason that she survived when the rest of her people and the Jedi did not. Um... He's no longer a man? One cannot have power of that magnitude that her master possesses and still think and perceive the universe as we do, as most of us do. I had oh. hoped that you would not have to confront him, but her presence here has changed all that. You will have to meet him in battle. It's almost like a developer was masterminding the way Perhaps things would roll. Perhaps will buy you the time you need to deal with her master. <laughs> Um. Oh man. I want to go. Perhaps I convince her to sacrifice herself. That'd be a twin victory so I can gain influence with Korea. But I deeply suspect that's going to get me some dark side points that I also don't want. On the other hand, I am so far to the light that I don't know that those dark side points would help. Or I could just dodge the question and pull the political. Um, <laughs> uh, not answer the question and move on to something else. Um, let's go. Let's try it. If you have such power, then I would make use of it. There is no need to dirty your hands when you can convince another Yikes. to drive the blade into their own heart. <laughs> and I thought I was cold. Oh, you have promise. But wait until you have more years fall upon you, and you will see what a shell your heart will become. Yikes. Uh, so how did he destroy their home world? It is a technique world? that is almost as old as the Sith themselves. It is a means of severing connections between life, the Force, oh. and feeding upon the death it causes. It cannot be taught. It can only be gained through instinct, through experiencing its effects firsthand. Interesting. And he used it to kill an entire yes, planet? He fed upon its destruction. It will sustain him for a time. Um, for a time. And how can anyone have that power. power? Do you think so? You would be wrong. There is no strength in the hunger he possesses, and the will behind his power is a primal thing. And it devours him as he devours others. His mere presence kills all around him, slowly feeding him. He is already dead. It is simply a question of how many he kills before he falls. Okay, then. Um... Do you have any idea why he spared her? Perhaps he is bound to her, as I am bound to you. If so, there may be a death served by hers. You must be prepared to sacrifice the blinded <laughs> one. Perhaps her death will buy you the time you need to deal with her master. All right. Uh, I got other questions. Ask Maybe. And I will answer. Master, what are you, actress? Uh, I've thought more about the destruction of Viz's homeworld. Let's go with that. And? Atra said her planet was wiped out, that it was only... Let's go with the first one. Did he? And what do you make of that? Well, for people all see through the Force, then maybe somebody wanted to blind them. The Mandalorians were right to respect you on the field of battle. The Jedi are gone vanished now an entire planet of force sensitives wiped clean of life and now this slice of the galaxy is blind it is no coincidence hmm. the two events are tied all right someone wants the sector of the galaxy blind to the force i fear you are right and i fear it may prove more than that war is a hunger and there are spirits in the galaxy whose hunger is never satisfied but there is little to be done about it now. Watch the seer carefully. She may reveal more. All right. Let's see if I've got other ask questions I can ask. I will answer. Uh. All right. Uh. What was the question that I couldn't get an answer to before? Because I've gained some influence with her. Ooh, did you know Revan? I misspoke before. Nope. And I do not wish to choose my words unwisely. All right. All right. I don't think we're going to get anything new out of this, so never mind.
Oh, yep. Dark side points gained. Influence gained. Max force points increased. Um... Why is it blinking at me like I have stuff that I have? Um, bio anti oh, okay. There we go. Okay. Oh. Oh my. That was a bigger hit in light side points than I realized. I just lost my con bonus too. Yikes. Well, okay then. Um, hmm. See if I can go recover some of those uh, light side points, eh? Let's talk to the handmaiden. Yes. Uh, what are you doing? Can you teach me some fighting moves? Let's try that. Training is something reserved for certain cast members of the Achani, but I do not see the harm in instructing you in some basic principles. I do not understand how you and Atris fight but I will instruct you on how Ichani children are raised on warfare. Um, alright, that seems as good a place as any to begin. All Ichani fighting principles rely on foundations. If one does not understand the most basic of fighting moves, it is not possible to understand the higher tiers. It is similar to learning the alphabet of a language before being able to use words, then sentences. Alright. I forget how. Can we dispense with the lectures and get it? No, I understand. I'm ready. As a foundation, I will instruct you in our elementary movements. The body itself is the first weapon you must master. It is not something that can be described. I was not expecting... Let us uh, duel, you and I, and that shall teach you more than my words can. Use only your hands and feet to strike at me, nothing else, or our combat shall be over. Do not resort to using any items or any force techniques you may possess. Such hmm. things will obstruct learning. All right. Does that include no armor or clothes? Duels among the Ichani are rituals, and it does not allow for armor or anything that restricts movement. Okay. That explains that. I just wasn't expecting it. Uh, just checking. It's a little cold on the ship. Now, are you ready? Yes. Very well. I shall match my movements um, to resist your efforts. And do not Wow, back, I was not I expecting that. Alright. No force. Let's uh try an improved power attack. And then we'll throw a couple flurries and go from there. No. Let's just hit the flurries then. The more fists you can throw, easier this goes. Bam! You fought gotcha. well indeed. You have caught the principles of the style by watching and anticipating my movements before you go. Okay. There is something I must know. Why did you go back? Face trial. Uh ooh. There's options here. I'm not exactly sure. Probably isn't gonna help. I guess I thought maybe they could help me. Because I felt they deserved an explanation. Maybe I had to hear me defend myself just to be certain. Because, uh, yeah, let's let's go with that one. Because I, I don't like to let them look upon me and see what war was. And I don't like uh, only to show them their weakness and cowardice. So let's go with because I felt they deserved an explanation. I see. It was always something I was curious about. To walk to one's own sentence willingly. It's a brave thing. All right, I had some questions. Uh, why do you look different than your sisters? I honor the face of my mother. It is not something usually spoken of in the company of others. Uh, let's keep yes, prodding. That is correct. I feel that I may trust you with such things, so I shall speak of it if you wish to hear it. <laughs> it beats watching the dust settle. Yikes. Ah, uh, yes, I would hear of it. My father's blood I share with my sisters. I wear the face of my mother. My father was Usanis, an Ichani general. Um. A hero of the Mandalorian Wars. 
He left our family to serve in the Mandalorian Wars, but his choice was not because of battle. He went to join my mother, one whose movements and spirit matched his. His only desire was that they fight together, side by side, for as long as there were enemies amassed against them. Uh, so this woman was not the mother of your other sisters? Or do I hit on her? Let's just go so the woman was not the mother of your other sisters. I never saw her face, and she did not return from the final battle of the war. She died in the battle that shattered Malachor V, and her body was never recovered. My father oh. returned from the Mandalorian Wars and did not enter battle again. He entered politics, a caste where one's battles are fought through words rather than action. I see. And what happened to him? He was slain by Revan in the Jedi Civil War. Oh. When Revan sought to destabilize the Ichani worlds, Revan succeeded. The fact that our father chose battle is not shameful, but that is not the reason he went to war. He went to war to be with the one he loved, but not the one he had pledged himself to. He was disloyal. Oh. I am the mark of that disloyalty. Okay. It is said that such things run in the blood. And I have fought long to prove that this now is Now I'm starting to that see. That is why I am different from my sisters. Yet I am pledged to them and Atris. And I would die before betraying them. I tell you this in trust. And ask that you not speak of it to others. I only wish you to know. So why tell me? Because when my father returned from the Mandalorian Wars, he walked as you do now. There was something wounded inside him. He did not speak of what had happened there. And with us, he was silent, changed. When I look upon you, I see in you an answer to a question I have searched for all my life. And that is why I tell you this now. I do not believe you to be the monster Atris made you out to be. I believe your choice was my father's choice. And it was just as difficult. Um, I appreciate your trust, or do you blame me? Let's start with I appreciate your trust. You have earned my trust. I wish to honor the trust you have shown me, and I wish to explain what you meant to me. I know oh. it's difficult for others to see why I am here, but it was important that you know one of the reasons, and know that it <laughs> is not simply duty that I am here, but because I want to be here. I want to fight with you side by side for so now as you're long hitting as there on are me. enemies that threaten you. You are a leader. Your stance, your every action proves it. Then serve me and serve me well, or you should stand with me no longer. I'm grateful for your words and for your assistance. Uh, or I will accept your pledge. Let us stand together then. Ooh. That's a tough one. Let's try that second one. You honor me, exile. Together then. Alright, I had other questions. Um... <laughs> Do you think you could put some clothes on? Uh, can you teach me some more fighting moves? Because I have a funny feeling that's going to be... I do not be... think you are ready for further instruction. Oh, okay. Each movement of our arts demands some time to use the art in battle, or to examine how it may be best used in battle. Okay. By the by, um, there is a bug in this game. So if you're... If you're okay with cheesing the money, like exploiting loopholes in the way the game is coded to, to get all the money you want. Basically, you strip her down, you walk off the ship, and you talk to her, and you say, do you think you could put some clothes on? And she apparates a new pair of clothes. And then you can just keep repeating that, and before too long, you end up with a bunch of clothes that you can sell for credits. So... If you, uh, if you want to amass a bunch of credits without having to work with, with spending time but not actually having to do hard stuff for it, that is a way that you can amass a bunch of credits. All right, so never mind. I'm going to be going because it doesn't look like I have... Oh, um... Okay. No, I, I didn't realize that that was not the end. I've got any reason why I have to fight without clothes or you seem to be anticipating my attacks. Let's go with you seem to be anticipating my attacks because I already asked the first it one before. It is the way of the Ichani to be able to read their opponents, to know where an opponent is going to strike before it connects, anticipate it, and then strike against them. Ichani huh. battles are fought several minutes in advance, 
In many ways, it is <laughs> much like the game of Dejaric, played in the core systems. The most advanced among the Ichani are able to predict the course of battles by months, and the most revered are said to be able to predict the path of wars. Only Revan ever demonstrated such skill in war, and even as he slaughtered us, the Ichani still respected him. Yeah, he seemed to have a lot of respect. Um, can you teach me to do this? You are already doing it. What do you mean? If you do not know you are doing it, then training will make you a dangerous opponent indeed. Come, hmm. as we fight more, I will teach you. Do not think about predicting my movements. React instinctively. You are doing better. At first I was afraid that your awareness of your own ability might ruin it, but that is not the case. You learn quickly. Perhaps it is your connection hmm. to the Force that allows such things, but I do not think so. Now you fight as an Ichani warrior fights, always in the future. I've gained battle precognition. It allows you to add your wisdom bonus to your defense in combat. Ooh, I like bonuses. And I gained some influence and I got some light side points again. So, does... Oh, that's right, because everything got bumped back down into... Oh, I'm not quite back up to full light side points yet, though. Doggone it. How much did I lose on that one. All right, let me get my Sith War Sword. Okay, and let me get uh, what was the armor I had? It was up oh, there. We go. And while I'm here, let's get uh, the Handmaiden to put on. You know what was it? The Mandalorian? No, the Flex Heavy Armor. And the handmaiden staff. Okay, there we go. And somebody has a breath mask. There we go. Korea's got it. So let's take that off. That way I can do the implants and those who, who can who have a constitution high enough to do it and the breath mask for anybody who doesn't. Or I can do the breath mask and just solo it. Whichever way it comes out. I still need to outfit visas with as much as I can. And I really ought to go through and start uh, building up equipment. But I, I'll, I'll have to save that for between, uh, between the streams kind of deal. Alright. Let's see. So that was Kriya. That was the Handmaiden. Let's go talk to Atten because he came up in the the listening overhead thingy. And I know that's gonna lead to the opportunity to get some light side points. Something up. Um Why do you play Pazak in your head? Passes the time. It's better than listing off engine sequencers, memorizing hyperspace routes, or counting ticks in the power couplings uh but you do all those things yeah he's gonna look at me and frown why do I play Pazak all right I'll show you all right if it's a friendly game sure We're seriously going to sit here and... Oh! Okay. Oh. <laughs> Subtractor has one from your score and allows you to win tied games. Alright, let's drop that and add our new card. Sweet. Alright, let's play a game of Pazak real quick. Ten. Um... 20, 11, take another one. 20, set us tied. 9, 15, 17, 20. Nope. Yeah, I get the feeling this game might be a little rigged to prove a point later. There's no way I should be getting uh, 20s. Not like this. 14, 17, 
20. Oh, he has been using cards. Never mind. I don't know. 9, 14, 15. Oh, come on, man. That's right, plus or minus. Uh, 20. You have defeated your opponent. Good match. Now, what are you thinking about right now? Uh, I was trying to compute the totals to 20. Right. And that's why I play Pazak in my head. Because if you don't, you've left the door open. And anyone could walk right in. Um... Let me go apologize. Of course you did. You see, Jedi, light or dark, do it. More often than you'd think. But I never heard one say they were sorry before. That's a new house rule. There we go. And so you play Pazak to shield your thoughts? No, I play Pazak in my head. But while I'm doing that, it's a lot harder for someone to walk in. Um, is that something you can train me to do? No, I can only teach you to play Pazak. Do you understand what I'm saying? Then I want to learn to play Pazak. Good, now you understand. All right, I'll deal then. If you're ever fighting someone who has the power over your mind, whether light or dark, play Pazak. Start listing hyperspace routes, recite engine sequencers, and when they try to use their powers on you, suddenly it's not as easy as they thought. <laughs> Jedi do it all the time. And when they walk in the dark places of your mind, they'll use it to hold you by the throat. Wow. Okay. Uh, Atten has taught you to play Pazak in your head as a way of resisting mental domination. You have gained a permanent plus one to your willpower saves. I'll take it. What did I lose? I gained influence with that, so there is at least that. Um, wait, what? Oh, 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 I I never set up my, uh, wait. Where's my Sith War Sword? There we go. Why was it unequipped? Alright, I still got my blasters set up. I wish it would have told me what item I'd lost, though. That, that's bothersome. Alright, uh, who else is left? Oh! Hello. I didn't want to talk about the war, but can I ask you something? Uh, what is it? Why did you decide to fight? Hmm. You could have joined the great battle. It was a mistake. I should have respected the council's wishes. The Jedi served... No one with an action. The Mandalorians had to be stopped. Well, we've been playing it pretty straight that the Mandalorians had to be stopped, so let's go with that. I felt the same way. I remembered when word of the Mandalorian attacks arrived on Iridonia. My people had colonies across the Outer Rim. Many of them were among the first systems to fall. Um... As good a reason as any for joining, so you wanted revenge... Unlike many of the Jedi, I could not stand by and watch. Yeah, let's go with that. I did not join because I wanted to protect, though. I hated them. I wanted to destroy them. To give them the mercy they gave the people they conquered. Mm. I remember the thrill I felt when we fought them in battle. Victories were rare, but we celebrated every Mandalorian's death. Do you know how it felt? Um... I detach myself, the rush, trained to resist such strong emotions. Let's go with that one. I couldn't do that. It was almost as though the battle took control of me, drove me forward. It's always on my mind now. That loss of control blinded me, turned me into a weapon. I just needed to get that off my chest. Was there something you wanted me for? Uh, do you have any shields? Sorry, General, I'm flat out. I'll see if I can make some more when I get a chance. Something okay. else I can help you with? Let me um, see what you have. No, you're still missing a lens. Something else I can help you with? 
Man, do you gotta get so snarky about it? Alright, never mind. Um, am I missing anybody? Uh, Visas might have another conversation in her, but I don't know that I've got the time for that. I'm already a little bit over. We talked about her. Uh, there's nobody in Medbay. I don't think I talked to T3 in a while. Is that even an option? Do you know where? Alright. Repair is not my strong suit, but computer is. So let's do the computer option. Alright. Let me take a look. Did I get him upgraded? Yay! Success! I have no idea what he said, but, uh... Alright. <laughs> Finally, maybe it'll be a little more useful. Uh, let's ask, how do you feel? Okay. Due to your computer skills, T3 has gained an additional plus one intelligence. Nice. Blank look? What, me? I was working on you this whole time. Maybe I just got caught up. It was relaxing... Um, let's go with it's relaxing. Maybe I just got caught up. Hmm. I had other questions. What other questions do I have? Can you upgrade an item? I'd like to upgrade your core again. Uh, do you know where the HK jewelry in the cargo bay came from? Nope, he doesn't know. Or he's not telling. That that didn't sound convincing. Are you sure you don't know? Wait, why is he smoking? I had other questions for you. Or is it just because he's standing there? Alright. How is the Evan Hawk? I really wish they'd actually give you something to read and respond to. Good job. Glad to hear it. I really appreciate your help. Uh, yeah, let's go with I really appreciate your help. Yay. Alright. What about the astrogation system? You locked it? Why did you do that? Uh, but the Republic is already in trouble. I'm not sure who, what else you're protecting it from. Uh, protect, protect who? Under whose orders? Wah, 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 wah. It's worse than a Charlie Brown cartoon. An old friend. Why didn't they want to know where the ship had been? They didn't want the charts to be found by the Republic? An old friend? Could it be something you saw in Knights of the Old Republic 1? Okay, so let's go with the second one. Uh Yeah, sure. T3, you have been with us since Terrace. Without you, we would never have escaped that place. And for that, oh, I thank I recognize her. I'm leaving this message inside you because I have seen glimpses of the future. And the bond that he and I share does not allow him to hide everything from me. More of his memories oh. have returned, and they trouble him. He has remembered something. Something on the edge of the galaxy. And he believes that he must go there to end it. But I am afraid for him. Afraid that he may not return. I need you to be the beacon, T3. If he is lost out there, on the edge of the galaxy, if he finds whatever terrible thing he has seen, then he may not survive. If he doesn't make it back, then I need you to return to the Republic. Find help. If you cannot find me, then seek out other Jedi. The Republic, I can't lose him. Even if he believes he is protecting me. Oh. Friend of yours? Who? Okay. So who's the person the hologram was talking of? That's not helpful. Um. So this help you came to search of? You came in search of me? Um, but 
why me? That's not helping me. That's not advancing the story. That is my big frustration with the droids. I, I, I need I need subtext. You need the last of the Jedi, the last hero of the Mandalorian War. Right, let's go with the first one. Strong enough to fight the danger. Who knew war and can make the hard choices that had to be made. Uh, now let's go with the second one. I'm honored. <laughs> when this journey is done, you'll pay for what you've... No, I'm not doing that one. Uh, I'm honored. Yikes, this is taking a little bit longer. Alright, um... Alright, that message doesn't tell me where the Evan Hawk came from. Uh, but why don't you have that information? Deleted? By who? By who or by whom? By who? You deleted it? Why? Something's wrong here. There must be a reason. Alright. Don't be sorry. Let's go with that person on the hologram was a friend of yours. Beep -de beep -de beep beep. Get to the part where I can try to upgrade you again. Okay. We seem to be talking in circles, so never mind. I gained influence, some light side points, and some XP. Alright, that almost tops me back out on the late side again. Uh, is that everybody? Although I don't know if he's got something else to say to me. I'm pretty sure Atten doesn't. Alright. Let me try... Let me try him one more time, and then, and then I'll probably call it. I found you again, General. Uh, what are you talking about? We were together at Malakor. I don't know if anyone else could understand. I'm getting philosophical. Oh. I'm here because you found okay. me on Telos, and I decided to come along for the ride. We're, we're Not that I had much choice after we got going. No, I mean, why are you still you here? Me already? I was frustrated watching the Athorians getting pushed around by Zerka. Yeah, we've had this conversation before. Um. Maybe I'm not looking to fix the galaxy. Sometimes there are things that can't be fixed, even if you knew what was wrong with it. How would you know where to start? You just have to know what the circuits look like. Um. Ball wires and switches to you, huh? That's the way I see things. Traveling with you, I know there's something else in the universe. But I can't do anything about it anyways. So I'll leave it to you to take care of. <laughs> I told you I'm not a Jedi. Uh, I'll do my best. Was there something you wanted me for? Oh, okay. Nope. That's it. Alright. I think I've had all the conversations I can have. I freed up some poison resistance stuff. So let me go ahead and save the game. And then uh, I'll insert a cut. And if you're watching live, I got one more episode to go. If you're watching later on YouTube, there's one more episode before the next live stream, which you can catch on Fridays. So uh, see you in a little bit. Well, that was fun.
unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos, because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, scopes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or open your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.